Alexa, turn on demo light. Okay. Alexa, turn off demo light. Okay. Light going on and off. So I'm going to click it here. It comes on. I will click it again to turn it off. Hey, what's up? Nasser Malik here. Welcome to another IoT tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be learning how to control a Sonaf or Node MCU or ESP with the Home Assistant and Alexa. Here are some of the components you're going to need for this tutorial. A Sonaf Basic, a Pi 3, Amazon Echo or Echo Dot, USB to TTL programmer or the converter, and a micro USB cable. So here are some of the things we're going to do in this tutorial. We're going to install the Home Assistant has I.O. image. We're going to install and configure, add-on, and update the config file. A flash Sonoff or Node MCU with GitHub Sketch. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to. Um, I'm not going to show you how to flash that. You need to watch uh, tutorial 14 for that. I will include the link in the video description below. Then we're going to control Sonoff with voice command through Alexa Dot and Home Assistant. We will be using the browser on the computer to control it. You can also do it through the phone. And at the end, I'm going to have a speed build for the Pi case that I'm using in this tutorial. While building OpenCV uh, for the hand gesture and facial recognition tutorial, I fried my uh, uh, Raspberry Pi. So I started looking for something that I can have it cooled at the same time and have everything accessible easily and it's stackable because I want to stack multiple so I got this from uh, banggood.com uh, they provided me this uh, case and a raspberry pi and the fan with it and it uh, considerably cools the pi down and I don't have to worry about it uh, frying another board so let's get back to the tutorial so this is how it's a logical drawing this is how it's going to work uh, you don't have the Wi-Fi router in here hooked up, but uh, basically what I'm looking to do is I'm going to install the Home Assistant here and run the MQTT server on it, which is a default that comes with it. And we're just going to enable it in the config file. And then uh, we're going to be able to use our browser or any of these smart devices to control this and look at the historical data and stuff like that. And we can do um, voice control also. We're going to be spoofing Vimo spoof uh, of, uh, sketch on it. And uh, we're going to control the Sonoff from the voice and from the UI from uh, Raspberry Pi and control whatever you connect to it. Step one install and configure Home Assistant HasIO image on an SD card. So okay, so we're gonna go to the um, Home Assistant website and we're gonna download this Raspberry Pi 3 uh, image. There are other versions available also. So once the image is downloaded, you need to go to that location and you have to uh, unzip it. So uh, once you unzip, it should be pretty fast. Um, <clears throat> You need to insert the SD card into uh, the SD card reader and hook it up to your computer. And then go to the drive, make sure it is there. In my case, it's an E drive. So I'm going to launch a disk imager. You can use any other utility. And you need to go and select that image and open. And you write, say yes. And it should take um, nine to 10 minutes. It depends how fast your um, SD card is so in my case I'm going to fast forward so now it's completed I'm going to say OK here and I'm going to exit out of there and then I'm going to go ahead and click on that drive you need to leave your SD card in there and go to system connection folder and then this file and open the new text editor and you need to do two things one is change your SSID so put in your SSID and you put in your SSID password. So these are the two fields you need to change. So I already populated mine. I'm going to go ahead and save the file. So the password also is changed. So I'm going to get out of there. I'm going to take out the SD card, put it in a Raspberry Pi, and I'm going to hook it up with power. Step two, install and configure, add on, and update configuration file. So once the Raspberry Pi is powered up, you give it a few minutes and after that you need to copy this URL and put it in your browser. 
So once you hit the URL, you're going to see something like that. And then you're going to see after a few minutes this page. And it'll take 20 minutes for it to download and configure. And then uh, your dashboard should load after that. Something like this. Once your dashboard is loaded, you click on Has.io. And then you need to go install an add-on. Click on Add-on Store. Install Configurator add-on that will allow you to configure your config file. Has.io config file. And it's going to take some time. A few minutes. So once it's downloaded and installed, you need to make sure uh, you need to change this uh, password in here. In double quotes, put in admin for mine. You can use whatever and you save it. And after that, you start and it should start successfully. So once it starts, it will show you this open web UI on the right hand side. You click on that link and from there, it's going to take you to this uh, file browser utility you go and select configurator file and in there first of all you need to copy and paste this code which enables the MQTT and register a single light so very simple and then you save it and you need to also uh, add the HTTP password which is the API password and uh, it's going to be a placeholder like this and then when it's entered you save it and you go to the file explorer open up the secrets make sure this password value is set here which is welcome so after that close the tab and go into has io again and then go to the system and click on reboot it's going to reboot your home assistant and then once it comes back a few minutes later you hit refresh and it's going to give you a login screen you type in welcome in here and click login and it's going to take you to the same page back again and you click Re overview and you see your demo light is added in here now step three flash sewn off or node mcu with github sketch you can watch the tutorial 14 for that if you're using sewn off i have other tutorials that you can watch to flash your node mcu you have to go to this github project and download this sewn off sketch and flash it I will include the link in the video description below. It's pretty simple. So once you're in the sketch, uh, you only need to provide your SSID and your SSID password. And uh, you need to put in your uh, Raspberry Pi uh, IP address. You can locate that using Fing on the, your cell phone. There's an app. And the rest you can keep if you're following the tutorial. Uh, the rest you can leave as is and if you're using the Sonoff, Sonoff default basic uh, GPIO is 12 but if you're using um, like a node MCU or some other you need to change this uh, relay pin that's all you have to do and that should work. Step 4. Control Sonoff with voice command to Alexa dot in Home Assistant. Demonstrating Home Assistant and Alexa integration using Vemo spoof. So here I have um, yeah, a Sonoff regular uh, switch flashed already and hooked up to the outlet and to a bulb. And uh, this is a Raspberry Pi uh, already set up with the Home Assistant and uh, set up uh, with the MQTT service. And this is Amazon Echo Dot. Alexa, discover devices. Starting discovery. This will take up to 20 seconds. If you haven't already, please enable the smart home skill for your smart device from the Alexa app. I found one new plug called Demo Light. To control it, say, turn off Demo Light. Alexa, turn on Demo Light. Okay. Alexa, Turn off demo light. Okay. As you can see here, when I give commands, um, Alexa turns it on and off, and you can see the home assistant getting updated instantly. So I can control it from here, and you'll see the light going on and off. So I'm going to click it here. It comes on. I will click it again to turn it off. I can turn it on from here and ask Alexa to turn it off. Alexa, turn off demo light. Okay. 
Now I can ask it to turn it on and I can turn it off from Home Assistant. Alexa, turn on Demo Light. Okay. And now I can see it here, it's on. I can turn it off by clicking here. So this is pretty simple setup. So you can also go to the history and you can see how each of your uh, devices are on and off. This is uh, like a history of your devices, you know, when they got turned on and for how long. It's very useful to monitor your devices. So I only added this device. Um, I'm going to be adding a lot more. I'm also going to integrate uh, Sonoff uh, Fourth Channel Pro with it and some of the other devices and also going to do the DIY, the Node MCUs and uh, ESP chips and I'm going to add all of that stuff in here and be able to control it. I'm also working on a, a dimmer switch uh, that's I'm going to be uh, you know demonstrating uh, in the future and that'll be added here. So this is the start. Uh, so I hope you like this tutorial. Uh, please give me your feedback what you think and until next time bye. Speed built for Pi case.